Hello and welcome to another wedding day. Today we're at the Carlsbad windmill doing pretty much full coverage, uh, minus some getting ready coverage. And yeah, let's get right into it. Whenever getting dress shots, I obviously get like the dress hanging in a location. But I also like to get close and get photos of the embellishments on the dress too. So we're on a bit of a time crunch because this couple didn't really want a lot of getting ready coverage. So for a lot of these shots, we kind of just had to pick whatever spot we had at the time. No, I'm using Ruby to block you. Okay, I'm gonna get close real quick. Just hold it. Can you hold the pretend like you're pulling it? Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Somebody talk to Ruby and make her laugh and giggle. <laughs> Tell her how beautiful she is. <laughs> We're trying to avoid ourselves. Yeah. Just stand by the window and uh, just kind of pretend to put it in. You can like maybe wiggle it around. Perfect. And then maybe give a little motion for the video. Yeah. I always like to make sure the video people get what they need because while you may be hired separately, you still are there to accomplish the same job. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Michael who is my videographer today. He was fantastic to work with. Now I'm just gonna put it on. Help him into his jacket. Don't look at us. But yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna turn around, button it up. Hey, don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, just kinda just kinda pull it out. Yeah. Adjust him a little bit. Perfect. You wanna come over in the mirror and look how she, um look at how yeah, give yourself a smile, guys. Tell him how handsome he looks. Okay, right. Dude, look at That's a guys. You the boys. Oh my goodness, that over. This one in reaction had three first looks. One with the bride, groom, and each of their parents. And then the regular traditional first look. The spot also wasn't the greatest just because of the harsh sunlight, but this is where they wanted to have it. Can you pretend you're putting it on? Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And then go ahead and look, or go ahead and get nice and close together. Put an arm around each other, look at me. Go ahead and stand there, look at me real quick. Okay, and then can we put the, the flowers on your wrist one more time? <laughs> During Brad and Groom first looks, I always just sit back and let them enjoy their moment.
here. Three, two, one. Okay. You guys are gonna kiss and everyone's gonna cheer on the outside. You ready? Three, two, one. Yay! Put your arms up to enthusiasm. Perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. Yay! Okay. Do you guys wanna do a dip? Yeah. Yeah, dip? Okay. Do you know how to dip? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Ready? Whenever you're ready. Okay, perfect. Come on, so walk in, so walk in. Walk towards me, walk towards me. Walk towards me, yeah, just like that. Look at each other, find someone to look at. Perfect. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make like a tunnel. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Cheer for them, cheer for them. Move your arms, move your arms. Okay, now you guys are gonna stop, kiss. Everyone's gonna cheer for them, ready? Go. <laughs> Maybe one more lady. Maybe Whoa, you on the end. You have to go over there. All right, perfect. All right, three, two. All right, look at me. Three, two, one. Okay, now shake them, shake them, but don't drop them. <laughs> okay, perfect. Three. Start walking, and now you guys start walking. Ready? Look at each other. Look at your partner. Just like that. Three, two, one. Smile. One more, three, two, one, smile. Okay, uh, unbutton your top button. And you guys are all just gonna put your arms over each other. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, and look at me. Three, two, one, perfect. Walk forward, look at me first. And then, go ahead. And then uh, go ahead and like pat Raymond on the back, tell him how good he looks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hype him up. While I think it's important to have the bridal party and family in the photos, I think it's more important that they enjoy the wedding day. So I only usually take like 45 minutes to an hour with them, max. When it comes to the couple, I leave it more up to them, but I always recommend at least 15 minutes sometime around sunset. And go and look at each other. Put your flowers like uh, up a little bit, yeah, just like that. And if you want to hold her on her like waist, yep, just like that, perfect. You know when you're good, I'm trying to get lens for okay. Okay. And then if you want to go for a kiss right there. Alright. Three, two, one, go. I know you could barely see it, but this is the shot we're going for. And yep, just like that. And then go ahead and go nose to nose. And go ahead and kiss right there. Perfect. Awesome. I like to shoot over the videographers when they have a shot in mind, just in case they get stuff like this. That. Um, but Raymond, you're gonna kiss her on the forehead. Okay, and Ruby, you're just gonna close your eyes and have your. Yeah, just kind of like that. Close your eyes. Yeah, look down. That's actually perfect. And whenever you guys are ready. Ready? Perfect. Okay. Go nose to nose. Maybe forward to forehead. Perfect. And this is like... And then go in a kiss right there. Perfect. During the ceremony, I never want to be a distraction to any of the guests, so I'm usually only at the front of the aisle for the first couple of minutes of the ceremony, and then I usually stick to the back. How far up the sides I go usually depends on the amount of space I have.
in moments like that I always overshoot just because I really want that perfect frame. After the ceremony, they celebrated with some drinks, and then we went straight into a couple portraits. With speeches and parent dances, I always try to capture how it feels rather than how it looks. I like to get on the dance floor and get a couple of dancing photos even if it is just for a couple of minutes before I leave. <laughs> 